Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of our Autodesk Learning. Okay, so for this topic, we are going to talk about justification editor in Revit piping or even in Revit ducting. So it's just the same, okay? So I'm going to show you how to use the justification editor. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, if you want to follow also the exercise, all right, so let's create a new mechanical template here. So yeah, you just need to click that to create the, the project using the mechanical template. All right, and I'm going to show you how to use the justification editor. So the first thing that we need to do, of course, let me create a pipe here. So I go to the systems tab, and then from the plumbing and piping, so I'm going to select the pipe here. I'm going to do this also in ducting later on after I show it to you in piping. Although they're just the same, okay? But still, I'm going to show you how to use that in duct. So I'm going to select the pipe. The shortcut is PI if you want. So I'm going to click this. All right. And then after that, let me use here 200. All right. So 200. So let me just pick here. All right. So by the way, the reason why my pipe shows in line, okay, it's because of my detail level here. It's medium. So let me just change that to fine. All right. Then I'm going to pick again the first point. All right. So as you can see, it's now 3D or in double line. All right. So I'm going to pick one here, pick point. Okay. Then after that, let me just change here the diameter. Let me select here 150. There you go. All right. So this is now the 150. All right. So let's say I'm going to create another one, but this time with 100 mm diameter. So I'm going to pick here another point. All right. There you go. Then I'm going to select here modify. Now, although piping is concentric, you can specify the justification for the different size piping. Okay. According to the Autodesk Revit. Okay. The justification editor lets you align the top, the bottom, or side of pipes in a section of the system. All right, so how to do that? So let's say you want to change the justification. At the moment, if I'm going to select the pipe here, we know that the justification is at the center. And if I'm going to check this in the 3D view, all right, let me just change again the detail level to find. All right, so if I'm going to click one pipe so I know that the justification is placed at the center here so what if I want to change the justification here let's say center left or let's say center right how to do that okay so how to change the justification of your pipe or even even your dock okay so how to do that so what I'm going to do is you, you can do it here in the 3d view or you can also do that in the floor plan view Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, over my pointer and then I'm going to press tab to select the pipe network. Although you can just simply select it like this. Okay, but in case you are having a difficulty selecting all the network of pipes because it's too long or it's complicated, uh, complicated the way they route the pipe. So if you want to select the pipe, you can use the tab tool okay or the tab key of your keyboard to select the pipe network you just need to hover your pointer to one of the pipe and then you can press tab okay you can press the tab continuously okay and then once it selects the the pipe that you want to select just select it just click that one all right just like this one after it highlights the pipe that i want so i'm going to click now all right and then as you can see from the from the piping system, there's the piping system. So as you can see here, the system now is a hydronic supply one. Okay, so that's the connector that is uh, connected to my pipe here. Okay, so you can also check it from here. Now, so let's say I want to change the justification. Instead of center, I want to place it here below. So how to do that? So to do that, so let's say you want to change the justification of your hydronic supply pipe. So you just need to select the pipe that you want. And then after that, from the edit panel, you can see here justify. 
Okay, so this is the tool that we are going to use. So I'm going to select this one. So as you can see the definition there, it opens the justification editor to align the tops, bottoms, or sides of ductwork, piping, cable tray, or conduit in a section of the system. Okay, so ensure that the visual style for selected views is that wireframe before activating the justification editor tool. Although you can still use the justification tool without turning on or without turning the visual style to wireframe, you can still use that even if your visual style is in a uh, realistic or shaded view. Okay, now let me select the justify here. Okay, so after I select the justify, there's now the justification editor. And as you can see, the default justification here is set to center. Okay, middle center. So let's say I want to place it at the middle left. Okay, so I'm going to click this. All right, so notice the arrow changes. Okay, All right. So let's say I want to place it here. Alignment top left. Okay. So alignment top left. So you can't see it here clearly, but if I'm going to cancel this and let me go to the 3D view so that I can show it to you nicely. So take a look. I'm going to select this pipe and then I'm going to select the slope here. All right. Then after that, oh, no, sorry, not the slope. Okay. Sorry. It's the justify. So I select justify. And then as you can see, there's the justification at the middle center. So let's say I want to place it here at the top left. So I'm going to click this one. So there you go. You see the justification is there. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. So let's say you want to place it here at the alignment middle left. So, so there you go. It's changed now. Okay. So let's say you want to place it here at the alignment middle right. So there you go. So if I'm going to finish this. Let me, let me try to use this one. Alignment middle left. All right. And then let me finish this one. So I'm going to select finish. Okay. So what will happen now? The Let me just close this warning. So what will happen now is the connector is now placed at that portion, at the middle left. So if I'm going to go back to the one dash mech and then create a pipe again, so I'm going to click this. So this time I'm going to create it from here. So I'm going to right click, uh, draw pipe, and then I'm going to click one point here. Uh, let's say I'm going to select uh, 90. All right. I'm going to click here. So as you can see, there's the justification. So that's how it affects the creation of your pipe. Right, so let's say I'm going to pick another point. So let's say I'm going to pick here. Okay, you see the justification is now located to the middle center. So let's say I'm going to change this to 50. All right, so again, as you can see, the connection is now changed. Okay, All right, okay, so I'm going to select and modify. Let me try to change this again. So I'm going to select this one and let me try to change the justify here. Let me select this one. All right. And then I select fin, right? So let me just close this one. All right, so I'm going to click this. Again, the justification is now changed to this portion here. So if I create another pipe here, so let's say I want a smaller one, 40. So check out the connection this time. You see? You see how it differs from the connection here to here. So the justification affects the way you lay out your pipe, okay? And you have another option to change the justification. So let's say I'm going to click this pipe here. All right. So I'm going to select. Uh, let me just go to the 3D view. All right. All right. This done. Oh, it's lagging. All right. So I'm going to select this pipe here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select justify. So this time, uh, instead of using the justify these tools here, let me use alignment line. So it allows selecting a reference line in a 3D view. So if I click this one, okay, as you can see, I can select any of these lines here, okay? So I have lines here at the top, what's this? Top right, top center, top left, middle right, middle center, middle left, bottom right, bottom center, and bottom left. Okay, so you can select manually. Okay, you can select from this reference line here. So basically, you can pick, okay, 
any of these uh, nine points here. It's actually the same as these points here. But in this uh, this one, you are the one who's going to pick it. You, you are the one who's going to select from this reference plane. So let's say you want to place it here, this one. So I'm going to click this. All right. So you will notice the justification is now there. Okay. So let me finish this one. There you go. So after that, let me just go get, uh, go to the top view. Let me create a pipe here. Okay, you see the justification is there. So I'm going to right click. I draw a pipe. So let's say I'm going to select 150. All right, so as you can see, it's now different. The justification is now different. Okay. And I'm going to select modify. So basically, that's how you use the justification editor. Okay. So what is that again? You just select the pipe justify okay so that's how you use these points here the alignment points as well as the alignment line you can also do this in your duct okay check this out so let's say i'm going to create a duct so that's my duct so let's say all right so 300 by 300 okay so let's say i'm going to make this 200 by 200 200 by 200 all right, there you go. So let's say you want to change the justification of your duct here. Okay, again, same procedure. You can click the duct and then you go to justify, right? And then you can either select the any of these nine points here or you can use alignment line. So it allows selecting a reference line in a 3D view. So let me select this one. So again, it will show you the nine reference lines so let's say you want to place here the justification. So you just need to click that. So you will notice the reference point will now uh, go to that location. All right. And then don't forget to finish. All right. And then let me just close this one. All right. Let me, just, let me just go to the top view. All right. Then let me try that again. So I'm going to click this. There you go. So there's the justification. So I right click this one. I create a doc. So let's say I want the smaller one. So let's say I want 100, 100 by 100. There you go. So let me pick here. So check this out. So that's how your uh, justification affect the way you route your pipe, your duct, your conduit, or even your cable tray. All right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it at the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.